Broncos First is a, an institutional transformation project. Um, we started with a question, what would it look like if everything we did in the institution was aimed at student success? That student success was the linchpin of everything we do. The program has two components. One is the year-long first year experience class, and it has a mentoring experience integrated into the program. So there are some class sessions that um, the students spend either with professional learning communities or with um, community mentors from outside um, fields to work with to get that mentoring experience. So the main goal with the student program is to help get students engaged in the campus early to increase their um, persistence in graduation at Western. Broncos First is the name that we have given to a U.S. Department of Education uh, first in the world funded initiative on our campus. We call it Broncos First because it is all about our students. Often first generation, first year, lots of firsts. So we named this Broncos First to to symbolize a lot of different things about the project. I think some of the initial challenges in implementing Broncos First was um, making the campus community aware of the program. Um, there's a lot of existing programs that do great things um, for students at Western, and what we aim to do was not to be in competition with those programs, but to serve um, some students who still have need who aren't currently being serviced by other programs. The Broncos First program really helped me reflect on my progress as a first year student. What I was doing right, what I could do, be doing better if maybe my grades weren't where I wanted them to be, what I could do to change that, go to the tutor. Um, I think it was more of a time to not only reflect but also see what resources were around me and get help from a core class of students who maybe were going through the similar struggles. I think it's valuable for students to have a mentor experience. Um, because especially during your first year, mentors are there to guide you. The reason that they are there is to guide you. And during your first year at a university or anywhere in general, um, you are lost. You're completely lost. And I know I was when I came to Western. I was terrified because I was here by myself and I didn't know much about the campus. So my mentor showed me so much about Western and gave me so many opportunities through the community and um, through Western. My mentor through the discussions in class and the activities it really helped you understand how you as a person can handle uh, conflicts that come up in your life or in your academics and it really helps you prepare uh, to visualize it or, or handle it in a better way. A big part of the Broncos First project is a year-long first year seminar. Two credits in the fall one credit in the, in the spring, and the students stay together for the academic year with the same instructor, same student facilitator. The class is meant to be very active. There is no textbook. There is not much traditional homework. There's a lot of searching out and bringing back resources, either um, physically around campus or um, virtually through their laptops and smartphones. So if you were to walk into a Broncos first first year seminar class, you may feel like it's somewhat chaotic because the students are loud and talking with each other and walking around and trading groups. And that's exactly what we want, to have the students really engage with each other engaged with the campus, engaged with their instructor and the student facilitator. The last day of class, I'll never forget how much Western pride all of these students had and how passionate they were for the university. And it was so exciting to think back to where we were and how Broncos First really was able to get them connected with the institution, connected with community mentors, connected with other students on campus and organizations. And it was awesome. I'm so excited for this year to be able to see what the students in my class now um, are faced with and how they overcome that and grow this whole academic year.